This is the shelter suit, a life-saving wind and waterproof jacket that transforms into a sleeping bag to provide immediate shelter to the homeless who deserve warmth, protection and dignity. This innovative protection from the harsh elements consists of a jacket, a sleeping bag and a duffel bag. The jacket is made from high-quality, breathable tent fabric and the inner lining is made from upcycled sleeping bags, therefore making each shelter suit one of a kind. An added feature to the shelter suit is its large hood, and that is made to shield one's face from rain and street lights. It also incorporates a scarf for further protection. The shelter suit is a passion project of a compassionate and forward-thinking Dutch designer named Bas Timmer. He was inspired by a heartbreaking story of a friend who lost his father to hypothermia due to being vulnerable to frigid weather conditions while living on the street. This risk is real for millions of people globally who are forced to sleep outside in the cold due to poverty, mental illness, unexpected loss of jobs from COVID-19 or natural disasters and wars. Timmer, who had started his own clothing line after finishing at the Fashion Academy at Rock van Twent, realized that high-end clothing wasn't his mission. Instead, he wanted to help those in need who didn't even have a proper code for survival. From the impactful creation of the shelter suit came the Shelter Suit Foundation, which gives shelter suits free of charge to homeless people and refugees. The Shelter Suit Foundation has been able to keep over 6,000 people living on the streets or in refugee camps warm. Since 2014, Shelter Suit has been designing and manufacturing emergency disaster relief and multifunctional products. It has partnered with local NGOs and shelters to comprehend the actual needs of each community. It uses 21,000 kilograms of upcycle materials, which are created from the textile industry's surplus of fabrics. Additionally, 112 jobs were created for former refugees and formerly homeless individuals to close the loop and create job opportunities for communities to overcome poverty. That's all for today, and if you enjoyed this video, please follow or subscribe for more videos like these. I'll see you again very, very soon.